I was asked recently, how can I create a citation for APA within an EBSCO database record? And um, I'm going to demonstrate that using CINAHL, one of our favorite nursing um, scholarly databases. Click on links to all electronic resources. Click on the C for CINAHL. Pull it up and then click on CINAHL's hyperlink. If you're off campus like most of us are, that would uh, precipitate the proxy server security. But I'm already through security so I don't, don't have to worry about it. So no, I am going to search for leadership and collaboration. And because I'm in a nursing and allied health field database, I don't have to worry about putting in nursing management if I don't want to. Take a quick look at the results. You have leadership, you have collaboration as main subject headings or content areas. Always look on the left hand side of many of the EBSCO products and you will see uh, terminology from a thesaurus within the uh, system itself that are describing the results and what the main subject content of these areas are and you can use those terms to search and usually you end up searching more efficiently when you know the terminology that the database wants to hear. Underneath quality of healthcare, patient safety, healthcare delivery are all topics within um, the areas of results that we got. So here we go. So let's take a look at one of them. Um, creating the optimal conditions for rehab research. Click on the title and then of course you can examine the results of the full record including the abstract which is essential if you're interested in knowing whether this article will fill the needs of your information needs that you have. Um, the abstract gives you the general idea of what the article is about if it's a research piece, if it's a review, whatever it may be and uh, that's that's a good way to begin. So let's say you decide that yes, I, I like this particular um, record. I want I want to get the article, but um, what? How do I get the the citation? Here's what you do. This whole nice little litany of icons is so special. Each one of them allow you to do many different things. Print. You can email it so the record would go to your where, wherever email address you put in. You can save it, but the little gold sheet here says cite this article. Simply click on it and it pulls up um, a half dozen citations including the AMA and the second one which is the American Psychological Association, APA. So I'm going to copy this, left drag right click copy and I've got a word document opened here I go and I'm going to copy and paste it now okay Tahoma 8.5 is not the citation size uh, the size of the font that you need for APA if you look at an APA guide you'll notice that it's Times New Roman and usually at 12 font point font. Now I also know that APA is double space and I also know it's hanging indent. Well it's hanging indent right now so let's select it and let's go where paragraph is listed. This is all in uh, uh, the new word 2007. I click on the paragraph. There's the hanging under special. If it didn't have this then I could select special and here's your line spacing which is double and then just say OK and there you go. That's the beginning of your references list. Now I could push it down, type in references as they suggest, select it and center it like that. And everything's double space and references is double space and it's exactly how we begin. Alphabetic, alphabetical by author, if no author title. So then I would go ahead and save that and I could proceed. So that's pretty simple. You just close it uh, and you go back to your results list and you can keep going like that and go through the process. Now 
I will say one thing in passing. If you see a little red box like you do here, what it's telling you is that this article is not available in full text through this database. However, um, it may be that <clears throat> there is a place where full text is available, but you won't know unless you click on the find it at BU red button. If there is no full text available in this case, if you look at it, it doesn't it says here no online full text is available for this item. Then here's what you do if you still want the article, go to where it says Interlibrary Loan Go, click on Go, and you have now a form filled out with the citation, and you simply put your first and last name, your email address, and your 14 digit library ID number, and send your request. Okay? And within three to five business days, that article, a link to it, will be in your email box. If you click on it and there's no full text, that's, that's the way you receive the full text. Often the red box leads you to a database, a hyperlink to a database in our collection that has that particular article in full text. So that's how it's done. So once again, open up a record and look for the gold sheet and all you need to do is copy open up your document paste it and this is why you need to know what APA requires of you so that if it comes in incorrect in a digital way you can change it and make it correct and there you go that's how it's done my next tutorial will be on how to export to refworks from the very same database